Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this breaking title animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. It's a super fun effect, very easy to create, but I will suggest that you have a basic understanding of After Effects before you start this tutorial. But I will try to explain every single step as we proceed with this video. So make sure you enjoy it and create something really amazing. With that said, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. All right, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start with creating a new composition. Let's make this 1920 by 1080. That is full HD and call this render 10 seconds long. Let's hit OK. Then let's create another new composition. Going to call this logo and hit OK. Select the text tool and type in the text that you want. You can, of course, use a logo if you want to. I'm going to type in motion break and the font is way too small so i'm going to increase the size and let's set the kerning to zero for the font i will be using integral you are free to use whichever font that you like or logo that you like i'm going to increase the size a little bit more set it into the center then let's set this one to a nice white color and let's set this one to an orange color all right now let's go back into our main render comp and drag and drop in the logo composition and then select the composition go into effects and presets and search for an effect called cc pixel poly double click to apply this and now if i preview the animation we have a motion break right pretty cool so now let's tweak the complete animation according to our liking. So firstly, I'm going to set the gravity down to zero so that it doesn't fall off. And you know, we get this nice bursting animation, which can be used full, which can be useful in itself. Pretty nice. I'm going to bring up the directional randomness to somewhere around 30 should be good. And also bring up the speed randomness to 90%. Let's bring down the grid spacing somewhere around. Let's go with, let's see something like 10. Okay. And I'm going to set the start time to minus 1.3. And then what I'm going to do is change the force center. So I'm going to move it to the right like so. So let's say something like minus 400 should be good. So we have this nice breaking animation. Now, before I proceed further with this tutorial, I just want to take a minute and talk about our today's sponsor, Wondershare UniConverter. Wondershare UniConverter is an ultimate AI powered video converter for Mac and Windows users. You can convert your videos from one format to another without a loss in quality with the help of the GPU acceleration and it supports more than 1000 plus video formats. You can even batch compress your videos and audios without losing the quality. And not only this, you can even record and edit videos in UniConverter itself. It's super easy to use and saves you a lot of time. So I will recommend you guys to go ahead and check out the unique converter by clicking the first link in the description below. So I'll go to around 20 frames and hold alt and open square bracket or left square bracket to crop this like so. And then go into effects and presets and search for transform effect. Double click to apply that. And now we can animate the position of this. So let's create a keyframe on the position let's place it somewhere around here i'll go to around uh, two second and 20 frames and let's pull this out of the frame like so so if i if i press u you can see the keyframes and now we have an animation which looks something like this all 
all right now i want to add that stop motion feel to this animation so to do that i'm going to add posturize time and set this to around let's go with eight and then go into effects and presets again let's add block dissolve just to bring down the particles so i'm going to set the transition completion to 50 and make sure you turn off soft edges increase the block width and height to around 30 or 40 should be good let's see yep that is looking much like breaking particles so now if i preview this we have this really cool animation okay pretty nice now let's go back into our project and drag and drop in the logo composition again and animate this. So let's go to around 20 frames and add an effect called Venetian blinds. Set this to 100, change the direction to 180 degrees and increase the width to around 50 or 60 should be good. Let's create a keyframe on transition completion. I'll go to around 1 second and 10 frames and set this to 0. So if I hit U, you can see we have this keyframes and we have an animation which, look, which looks like this. Pretty simple, nothing crazy here. Let's go back and search for posturized time. Double click to apply this. Set this to 8. And then again, I'm going to add a block dissolve on this. And let's go maybe somewhere around there. Increase the block width to around 150. Turn this off and set this to around 30 or 35 should be good. And let's animate the completion. So I'm going to go right over here. Create a keyframe on this. And we can tweak it. So something like around 40 should be good. I'm going to hit U so we can see the keyframe of block dissolve. And as you can see right now, it's a linear keyframe. I want to turn this into a hold keyframe. So to do that, I can hold Ctrl and Alt at the same time and click on this keyframe, which is going to turn this into a hold keyframe. So now we have something like this. Go a few frames forward. Let's bring that down to 30. Let's go a few frames forward again. Set this to around 20. And then go right here and set this to 0. So we have this nice animation as you can see. And then I'm going to go right over here. Press S to bring up the scale property and let's scale this up to around 120. Create a keyframe, hit U so we can see the keyframe. Hold Ctrl and Alt and click to create a hold keyframe. Go right here and set this to 100. So now we have something which looks like this. Pretty nice. Maybe I can add one more right here to around 110. Just to add an interesting look to this. Okay, so this is looking pretty cool now to add a nice glitch effect let's create a glitch effect so let's create a new composition called this glitch add the logo composition inside of this glitch glitch composition go into effects and presets and search for scatter double click to apply that and set this to around 35 change the grain to horizontal and turn on randomize every frame then go into effects and presets again, search for wave warp. One of my favorites and very interesting effect. Set the wave type to square. Let's increase this a little bit to around 15 and bring that down to 20. Set the direction to zero and wave speed to zero and change the pinning to right edge. Then go into effects and presets again, search for mosaic effect. Let's increase this all the way up to 200. Turn on sharp colors and set this to 200. So you get a nice glitchy look. But to even exaggerate it more, I can uh, add a block dissolve on this as well. I think this tutorial is more about block dissolve altogether. So let's increase this to around 80%. Increase this to 60 or 70 should be good. And let's increase the block height to around 6% or 6 and turn off soft edges so this looks much more glitchy as you can see let's fine tune this even more like so around three or four should be good yeah so around 85 should be good so this looks pretty nice 
Now let's go back into our render comp and drag and drop in the glitch composition between this. Now let's solo this up and animate this. So to animate it, first of all, I'm going to add a linear wipe on this. So go and search for linear wipe, double click to apply this. I'm going to create a keyframe at the very start, setting the transition completion to 100. Then go to one second and 20 frames and set this to zero. Then duplicate this, hit control D, hit U so we can see the keyframes and let's move these keyframes of a few frames forward, maybe around 10 frames forward in time. Go right over here and set this to 15% and then go right here and set this to 100% and also change the wipe angle to plus 90 degrees. So now if I preview this, we have something like this. Pretty cool. Let's increase the timing a little bit more like so. So this looks pretty nice all together, I think. And finally, let's add a posturized time on this. And I'm going to set this to around 10, 12, let's set this to 12. So we have a nice stop motion kind of feel to this. Pretty cool. And now let's see everything looks pretty nice. I think let's increase the scaling of this. So hit S to bring down the scale property, create a keyframe, hit U so we can see all the keyframes go right here, bring the keyframe right over here. Hold Alt and Control and click to create a whole keyframe. I'll go a few frames forward and set this to around 140. Go again a few frames forward and set this to 120. And yeah, that is looking pretty nice, I think. Maybe I can move this uh, particles a few frames, I mean, to the left a bit more like so. So now if I preview this, we have this really nice animation as you can see. Now to add a bit more detail, what I'm going to do is add the logo composition here again. Let's um, crop this by holding Alt and open square bracket, go a few frames forward like so and hold Alt and right square bracket to crop this. Add a posturized time of around eight. Go into effects and presets, search for block dissolve, double click to apply this. Let's start with 50%, turn this off and let's set both of these to 40 and 40. Let's solo this up so we can see it more properly. And I'm going to add a fill on this because I want to keep this white. And then add an invert effect, not an invert actually, add a find edge effect invert this and there we have this really nice look press f4 on the keyboard and change the blending mode of this to screen all right and let's uncheck this so now we should have a really nice intricate detail added up which looks very very nice yep and what i can also do is press s to bring down the scale and let's set it around 120 and now let's animate our block dissolve. So create a keyframe here, hit U, turn this into a whole keyframe, go a few frames forward, bring this up like around 60%. Go a few frames forward, let's set this to 70 probably. Go a few frames, set this to 85. And finally to 100. So now when I preview this, there we have a really interesting title animation, which looks very cool, very high detail, and it's very easy to create, mostly repeating the same exact effect again and again and using them in a different way. So that is a wrap for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to like this video, comment down below if you found this tutorial helpful and make sure to share this video with your friends who want to learn After Effects and create some amazing motion graphics. You can also follow me on Instagram at dope.motions. All the links are in the description below. And if you're feeling generous, please do support us on Patreon. It will mean a lot to me. So with that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.